Hello. It's good to see you. Today, we are back with four new Trapper Keepers. I found these online at walmart.com. They didn't sponsor me, but one night not too long ago, I was up late and I was just browsing around looking at stuff online and I discovered that they have several different types of Trapper Keepers on uh, Walmart's website that I didn't see in the store. We did another video recently looking at some of the new Trapper Keepers and I'll put a link to that video in the description. That one is whispered. I am not whispering this one, so maybe this will appeal to those who don't like whispering. I try to make as many people happy as possible. But, so we did a video showing the Trapper Keepers that I found in a local Walmart store, but I found more on the website that were not available in my local store. So we're going to be looking at these today. And when I finished showing you these uh, Trapper Keepers, I'm going to donate them to the, a local school for them because I don't need, I don't need, I, if I kept all of the Trapper Keepers I've shown you, I would have 10 Trapper Keepers. And although childhood me would think that was awesome, I would rather just give them to someone who can use them. So they're going to be donated to a local school. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to do this video just like the other one, where I'm going to show them to you up up close here first. So I'm going to show you what the designs look like. We'll take a look at the inside of the Trapper Keeper and then we're going to look at them individually and trace the designs on each one of these Trapper Keepers and I found some great designs. So let's take a look at the first one. This is the first one. Look, we have this beautiful hot air balloon. That's on my bucket list of things to do, is to ride in a hot air balloon. I've never done it. I've always wanted to, but I've never done it. Look at that beautiful. So this is a photograph. And some, uh, some of the designs on Trapper Keepers, you have an illustration, or it just might be a pattern. You can even find solid color Trapper Keepers. This one has a photograph. The beautiful hot air balloon over the water. I hope he's not about to go down into the water. <laughs> he used to give it some gas and go up a little bit. But they're just above the water. Look how they're skimming the water. It's like a big lake. And they have these beautiful trees back here. Looks like it might be fall. The leaves are starting to change a little bit. And they have this beautiful cobalt blue sky. It's gorgeous. Now this is actually the back of the Trapper Keeper. And you can see the little things here. That is for the clipboard that's on the inside of the Trapper Keeper. Now, if you're not familiar with what a Trapper Keeper is, I'm going to show you. We have this construction here. So here's the front. And on the front, you have a small picture of the hot air balloon. And you're going to have this little piece here. The original Trapper Keeper traps everything inside. This little piece is removable. It's just a little paper. And it tells you about the features of your Trapper Keeper. It has secure closure, six Trapper Keeper portfolios, one inch metal ring and spring clip, and an inside pocket. Six portfolios. I don't think the other ones had six. Huh. This one has six though. This one's a little different. The others only had two portfolios. This paper says this one has six. Oh, it has a bunch in there. I just noticed. Look at all, look at all the folders in there. Oh, this is going to be cool. I just, I just noticed that. So you have this piece here that comes over the front. It just folds over like this and it has a Velcro closure to keep it closed. And it has this sort of a ridged plastic to it here and they are made by Mead M E A D and when I was a child I mentioned this in the other video I was very shy as a child and I was always nervous about starting school and um, the one thing I did look forward to though was getting to pick out a trapper keeper it was the one thing that I looked forward to for a new school year was getting to pick out a trapper keeper and I always loved it because I always just thought these things were so cool. 
and here it says trapper keeper along this edge here and here you have the reinforcements for the binder. Now one difference with these trapper keepers is that the original trapper keepers had metal or had plastic rings, which I really liked because they were a lot quieter. You could open and close it much more quietly. These have metal rings. I'm not really sure why they didn't go with the plastic, but I'm sure there's a reason. All of these trapper keepers on walmart.com I noticed were a slightly different price. They seem to range in price from about $10 to $12 per uh, plus tax per Trapper Keeper. So each one has a slightly different price. It's very interesting. But I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and open this up and we'll take a look at those six portfolios. Here's the Velcro. You have this piece here and the little fuzzy piece here. So let's open this up. Oh my gosh, look at this first one. It's blue and white checked and it has this border around it in black and it says Trapper Keeper Portfolio. I love this one. We have room up here for the name and the subject. Over here on the inside, we have a little, a little folder of like a little pocket. It's just a little vinyl pocket right here. And they all have this little pocket right here. It's great for sticking just loose pieces of paper you don't really have room for anywhere anywhere else. So this is our first portfolio, first little folder. And on the inside you have useful information like conversion tables for weight and length, uh, kilometers, miles, stuff like that. And you have a ruler over here and multiplication table, table of dry measures, liquid measures, and they all have this information in the folder just on the inside. And you have your little your little pockets here to stick your papers in. And here you can see the metal rings. These used to be plastic, and I really like them because I think there was a little slide thing here that would open and close and it was very quiet which was nice in a classroom if you're not trying to draw attention to yourself, which if you're kind of an introvert is very important. You don't want to draw attention to yourself. I hate that. Um, okay, so this is the first, this is the first folder. Now let's look at the next one. Oh, this one, I didn't look at these in advance. This one has the little DeLorean like one of the Trapper Keepers we saw last time. I didn't know they made a folder with that on there. Oh my goodness, look at that. We have the little palm trees back there. And it's like a neon DeLorean. And on the back we have the same design. So, ooh, the inside of the folder is black. That is so cool. I love it, oh my gosh. But you can actually get a Trapper Keeper with this design on the front. Yeah, and we saw that last in the last video. This one right here. Love it. I love it. Oh my gosh. And again, it has room up here for the name, your name, and the subject. Now the next folder is just like a dark gray. It's just plain gray, no design or anything. Now all of them are gonna have this little border around it here. Um, and it has Trapper Keeper portfolio down here at the bottom. And again, of course, you have room for the name and the subject. Whoa, paint splatter. Wow. I don't know why this one comes with six portfolios. All the others come with two, right? All the other ones we looked at so far only had two. This one has six. Nice. Look at this. It's all these pretty paint splatters. So you have this black background, and then you have yellow, green, purple, and kind of a teal color splattered all over it. And then you have the border in white and Trapper Keeper Portfolio. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. And the back is the same. And then we have geometric shapes on this one. We have kind of a, a turquoise colored background with little pink polka dots and little geometric shapes and squiggles in a sort of a fuchsia color. And again, it has the white border, and it says Trapper Keeper Portfolio, name and subject. And the inside is that same, sort of a turquoise color. Yeah, that's great. 
And then we have a yellow folder. This is a happy little yellow folder. Oh, it's like a banana yellow. And this one has a blue border going around it. And down here in blue, it says Trapper Keeper Portfolio down here at the bottom. Oh, I love this combination of folders. And then that's the last one. Now with all the Trapper Keepers here in the back, you're going to find this little clipboard. And it's just attached to the back part. This is, and the inside of this is like, kind of like cardboard. You can bend it. But it's a little bit more sturdy than just, you know, something thin and wobbly. It's fairly sturdy, but you could, you could bend it. So we have our little clipboard back there. What a pretty combination of folders. You have this yellow one. Turquoise. That's cool. You have all the colorful paint splatters. And then you have a gray one here, like a dark gray, and the cool DeLorean, and then finally you have the blue and white checks. Ooh, that's so cool. And all that together is held together with the little, the little Velcro piece here, that little flap that comes over. Look at the pretty colors of all these folders. Oh my word, I love it. I love it. I would, have to, I would have totally picked this Trapper Keeper. Absolutely. I love it. Wow. That is a neat picture. So that's our first, our first Trapper Keeper. I have three more. It's puppies. We have three little puppies. Look at the little puppies. What are these like? Are they yellow labs? What are they? So cute, oh my word. Look at these little babies. Oh, and it has this nice pale green border around here. And they're running in the grass. Look at them. What do you think they're looking at? What are they looking at? It's probably a toy or a snack or something. <laughs> cute little puppies. And then if you look at the front, you have even more of this pale green. And a though, here's a little mini picture of the puppies. And then we have the puppies here. So, of course, you're going to remove this, and then when you're using the Trapper Keeper, you'll be able to see the whole picture on the front. Although, I always kind of wondered with Trapper Keepers, because when you're using them, you have it like this. I was kind of wondering why they didn't do more pictures that were, like, oriented this way. I mean, I know it's hard, especially with a picture like this, because you'd have to make it really small. But it always just seemed like it should be turned more this way, but, you know, the picture couldn't be as big if you did it that way, because you could only do like that. I guess it's cool. Now this one says it has a secure closure, two folders, one inch metal ring and spring clip, and an inside pocket. And again, you have this nice durable plastic here. It has ridges like that. So let's open up the Velcro and take a look. Okay, here we go. Let's look at these folders. Oh, the first one is a pretty green. It's, it's a slightly different green from the green on the front. It's a little bit more neon. It's not really neon, but kind of. And then we have this little, we have our little vinyl pocket here on the inside. There. And let's see what the other folder looks like. We have a plain, shiny black folder here with this border Trapper Keeper portfolio. And it's on the green one too. So this one just has the two. And then of course it has the little clipboard in the back. That's neat. So that is our, our little puppies. Oh my gosh. So again, this is a picture instead of you know, like an illustration, a drawing or a, a graphic or like a pattern of any sort. This is a photograph of three little, three little puppies. Isn't that cute? I mean, admit it, even if you're an adult, you know you want one of these. I tell you what, I ended up going back and getting one of the DeLorean ones for myself. I have no use for it. I don't know what, I have nothing to put in it, but I had to have it. It was just so cool. I would have loved that as a kid. Oh, man. 
These trapper keepers also, I didn't mention it, um, they have this um, plastic, plastic film over them, kind of like a coating. Um, it's not really laminated, it's just kind of fitted over this piece here. This, this piece here fits down in there like a little sleeve and then the plastic goes over that. And we have the same plastic in this section and this one as well. So yeah, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love the puppies. Okay, let's see what the next one, I think you're gonna like the next one. This one's cool. Oops, I have some little pieces from the portfolios. Look at that. It is a neon heart. Oh, it's beautiful. And then the background is like a brick wall. So that's, that's very cool. I would have liked this one too. That is really super cool. It's very simple. And it looks like the heart is hanging on. It looks like a curtain rod back there. <laughs> very cute. Oh, there's one down here too. So maybe it's mounted to these pieces here. Very pretty. It looks like it's literally lit up. I mean, if you look at it, it looks like it's actually lit. Very neat. And on the, the front of this one is a little bit different. Now this one, the other ones we looked at had the little picture up here. This one's not like that. This one has the picture kind of overlapping this top part a little bit. And it's off center as well. It's not even centered. Like this one comes up a little bit higher than that one. That's weird. The bricks are not centered on this part, but they are on this part. That might just be poor design. That might be sloppy design right there, or it's just not cut right. And then you have the Trapper Keeper logo there and here. And this one's kind of a dark purple background. What about the puppies? The puppies has this pretty green. You can see it has Trapper Keeper across here. It has that pretty green background. They're, I love how they're all nice and color coordinated, you know, everything just kind of matches. Now let's see how many folders this one has. This one also has six portfolios. That's interesting. It's funny how some have two and some have six. I don't know why that is. Let's check them out. I wonder if we have any interesting ones in here. Well, again, we have right up here. There's this little vinyl pocket again. And then we have the paint splatters again, this pretty paint splatter portfolio. I like that one. I don't remember ever having any like that. I think most of the portfolios when I was a kid were just solid colors, but you could buy extra portfolios. You could buy additional ones and they were usually available right next to the trapper keepers. So you could add them or swap them out. I didn't see any though when I bought my Trapper Keepers. They just came with whatever they came with. But I didn't see where you could buy extras of this particular type. Of course, you can buy any kind of folder and put holes in them and stick them in there if you want. Ooh, this one's cool. Now this is another Trapper Keeper uh, cover option. You can actually get a Trapper Keeper with this on the front because we looked at it last time because I bought one. Yes, someone said they thought this was the Matterhorn. I honestly don't know. <laughs> this little mountain here, I, I have no idea. But you can also get this as a portfolio, which is cool. It has a pretty purple interior. That is pretty. That is so pretty. Yeah, I'm thinking most of the portfolios when I was a kid, they were just like solid colors. Oh, we have a pink and white checked portfolio. It has this black border and Trapper Keeper down here. And of course, they all have name and subject up at the top. Oh, and the inside is this pretty pink. Look at that. Wow. Oh, you have another geometric shape one. Look at this. We have this pretty background. It's kind of like a fuchsia or a violet color and little triangles and squares and circles and squiggles and dots. That is very fun. Very, very 80s looking. Ooh, the inside is a nice purple again. Oh, this one's cool. Look, this one is just plain white, 
but instead of having the same color for this part and the border and Trapper Keeper, they have three different colors. This part going around name and subject is yellow. Actually, it's four colors because name and subject is done in purple. And then the border is pink and the Trapper Keeper portfolio down here. This is all like a turquoise color. How interesting. Look at that. I don't know why that is just so cool and then the inside is just white and all the letters and everything and numbers are pink that's groovy I have never seen a portfolio like that all the different colors just in the lines and this stuff and then the folder is just plain <laughs> that's cool the next one is just a nice sort of a like a turquoise color um, and then we just have this part in white and the border is white down here too. So it's just all solid. And that is our last folder and then of course you have the little you have the little um, clipboard right there. So that is a look at our third Trapper Keeper. And again remember later in this video we're going to be tracing all these designs. Now I'm going to show you our fourth and final Trapper Keeper before we trace stuff. I really like this one. Look, it's kittens. It's little gray kittens. Look at these little babies. Oh my gosh. It's little babies. Look at the whole, look at their little faces. Oh my goodness. They're so cute. Look at their little ears. We have two little kittens in the grass. Oh, the grass is as tall as they are. They are adorable. I do wonder what they're looking at when they get their pictures like this, you know, because with puppies and kittens, they have, they're so, they have no attention span. Like, what did they get them to focus on? It was probably a toy or something. <laughs> Just try to get them to focus on a little something interesting. So with this one, it has just a white border around it, and then you have that pretty purple, too, going around this way. So cute. That purple looks really good with the green and the grass, and then the gray, and their little blue eyes. It's so adorable. And then on the front, we have a little picture of the kittens again up here on this top part. And then you have the picture here, too. Now, this Trapper Keeper only has two portfolios, according to the little paper right here. And we have that pretty purple here on the outer part. And here where it says Trapper Keeper, it's also done in that nice purple. So let's look at the portfolios. And again, you have that same little pocket right here. The pockets on all of them, I think, are basically the same. So we have this pretty kind of a violet colored folder right here, very shiny. And it's a white border in Trapper Keeper portfolio. And then we have a nice shiny black portfolio as well. Very shiny. This one has the white border in Trapper Keeper portfolio. And your name and your subject up there. Yeah, when I was a kid, all of the folders were like that. They were just solid colors like that, I think. And then you have your little clipboard in the back, too. So again, if you just have extra papers and you want to just hang on to them, you can keep them in your Trapper Keeper. You trap them in your little clipboard. Works great. So this is a look at the little kittens. I like this one. That is really cute. Very cute. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take all of these Trapper Keepers, all four of these. I would have loved any of these as a kid. Oh my gosh. I would have, I would have gladly taken any of these. And I know there were Lisa Frank Trapper Keepers, but they came along after I stopped buying these. Um, I would say maybe after about ninth grade, I didn't really buy these anymore because for the stuff I needed, they didn't really work for me anymore. Pretty much for all of my classes, I needed like a three or five subject notebook and I was already carrying lots of stuff and 
I just didn't really have a need for these anymore. And I think the Lisa Frank ones kind of came out after that. Um, I just watched a documentary about Lisa Frank. It was very interesting. But um, I imagine a Lisa Frank Trapper Keeper would be highly coveted. I did notice that if you can find some, like on eBay, they sell for quite a bit. And they were probably pretty expensive when they came out, but they're even more expensive now. We're going to take all of these beautiful Trapper Keepers. Look at that. We're going to take all these pretty Trapper Keepers. And we're going to lay them out. And we're going to trace the designs with our finger. So let's get started. And we're going to start with the hot air balloon. Look at the pretty design here. My goodness. It does appear that it's directly over the water. You can see there's the little line there where it meets the bank. It's like a nice little pond or a lake. Look at the little basket. Looks like we have a couple of people in there. Like that. You have the opening to the hot air balloon here. Look at the pretty design on this. We have this beautiful diamond pattern right here. And each one of these little diamonds is a different color. Look at that. And they just kind of gradually change. Like that. We have a zigzag pattern above those diamonds. There. And then up at the very top, we have yellow and white stripes. Delineated by these black lines here. We have the tree line back here, and a mountain right there. And then we have this beautiful sky, so nice. You can kind of see that the leaves are changing here. And we have some that are darker, and some that are more of a yellowish green. And the bank down here, we have the, it's like a serial number that identifies this aircraft. And then again down here we have yellow and white stripes coming all the way down. There, just like that. Very pretty, very nice. You can see the reflection The trees reflected. We even have little ripples in the water going this way. There. You can see some of the tree trunks right there going up. I can imagine how Bob Ross would paint these trees this bank over here and then the water and you know how you would do the reflections bring the color down and then lightly brush this way with the brush to give it that nice reflection very cool then when you turn this trapper keeper over you see the same design up here, just the little hot air balloon, not the background. And the little mead logo right there. We have two green diamonds behind it, a lighter one, and then a darker one behind it. We have the little border too. And the Trapper Keeper logo right there. So that's a look at the first Trapper Keeper. And the second one is so fun. Look at these happy little puppies. Oh my goodness. 
Look at their little heads. <laughs> they are just too cute. I like how these two have a similar pose. They have their little left paw up like this. And the right one is down. <laughs> They're so fluffy. This one looks like he's just sitting there. His little fluffy self. And they have their little black nose. And their little eyes. They have tiny eyes there. And their cute little ears. Oh my goodness. I just want to play with them. I want to pet them. <laughs> and play. The background you can see is actually kind of blurred out. It's really just focused on these puppies right here. We have a little bit of a blur back there. And we don't really know what's back there. It's kind of blurred out. But down here, if you look, you can actually see a little bit of the grass. Right here especially, with this puppy that's sitting down, you can see little blades of grass that are sticking up here in front of the puppy. Like that. I also noticed from looking at the puppy's little faces, you have this little spot right here between their eyes that's like a slightly darker color. Just there. Slightly darker there. That's interesting. And also, the hair on their ears looks just a little bitty bit darker than the hair on their bodies. That'll probably change as they get older, you know. Kittens are the same way. Their, their colors kind of change a little bit as they get older. So, we can also see a little bit of the grass in the background on either side of the puppies. But it's also kind of blurred out back there, see. You can really just see the grass in detail, right in this area, this section. And even here in the foreground, it's blurry. This is a very focused picture, it's just right here, right across this area, to really draw your eyes to the puppies. <laughs> Not that we need anything to draw our eyes there, because they're just so cute. This one looks like he's thinking about it. These two are about to take action. He's just not quite so sure. Maybe he's a little bit more cautious. <laughs> and these two just just go for it. <laughs> they look before they leap. <laughs> oh my goodness. Very cute. Oh, and also, we have the little pieces here for the clipboard. You will see those on the back of every one of these trapper keepers. We flip it over, and here we have, again, a little picture of the puppies, right here, the three puppies. We have that diamond shape there, and you can see the grass, again, it's kind of blurry. It's a little bit more in focus, just next to the puppies. It's so, so cute. Here, because of the little paper, you can just see the, like, the tops of their little faces. <laughs> So cute. So that is a look at the second Trapper Keeper that we have today. I like it. And then we have our third Trapper Keeper. This one is fun. I just realized this picture is slightly off-center. I think if I were to keep this Trapper Keeper, that might bug me a little bit. <laughs> I'm sure they did it that way on purpose, but that would, that would bug me a little bit. <laughs> I would really like it better if it was straight, <laughs> but that's okay. You can see it if you look down here. So we have this edge right here, and the bricks are slanted, you see? And they run all the way up behind the heart. So this is supposed to look like a neon heart. And when it's lit up, it kind of glows on the bricks back 
there as well as these pieces to which I'm assuming the big neon heart is mounted. We have the bricks just go and go back here. It looks like it would be on stage where you would see like comedians playing. I don't know why. I guess because so many of them, you know, if you watch videos or stuff of, of comedians online, they always have the, like a brick wall right behind them. It seems to me like they do. It seems to be a, a common theme. So the bricks just keep going and they fade, but they're still there. They get darker the further away you get from the neon heart, but they are still there. They're just darker, you see? They are darker. You can really see them closely inside of the heart. Look at that. They're beautiful. They look kind of purple. And the neon heart does like this. And it looks pink. Now behind it, you have the stuff connected to the neon heart to make it work like it's lifeline. And then they just run down here, out of view. They're connected right there, and here, and right here. And they follow the general shape of this heart, like that. And then come down here. That's pretty neat. Now the layout of the front of this Trapper Keeper, as I mentioned, is a little different. With most of the others, you're going to see just a little thumbnail of a, the general picture on the back. Like you might just see the hot air balloon or the puppies. But with this one, they didn't do that. They actually just have the same picture repeated. Basically the same size. And they just have it kind of overlap the flap here a little bit. You can really see how off-center it is by the fact that it comes up higher here. Than it does here. But it's the same picture with the same bricks back here. They're definitely lighter in the middle and right on the outside and then they fade. They become darker out here, but they're still there. They're just a little bit harder to see if you come up to the edges. They're there. The bricks are there, but they're very dark. Very dark. As you get closer again, you can see them better right here, this top part, and here, and here, even down here. So this is like a mirror image of the heart on the back, because down here we have this part going down this way instead of this way. And that is a look at our third keeper today. I don't like it. That's very cool. And finally, we have our little kitten friends. We have three puppies, but we have two kittens. Little kits. And if you know me, you know I have a special place in my heart for cats. I, I have three and a half cats, basically. Um... <laughs> We have our three cats, and then we were sort of adopted by a, the neighborhood outdoor cat. Um, he, he doesn't really want to come in the house, but he likes to hang out in the back yard, and we feed him. And we've named him Wally. <laughs> um, yeah, he's a very sweet kitty. I don't think he would ever be an outdoor cat or an indoor cat. I don't think he would ever want to just stay inside. Um, but I'm just going to try to make him happy and comfortable and, you know, I don't want to scare him. With this picture, unlike the puppies, you can definitely see the grass around the kittens in more detail. You are closer up. The grass looks much larger because you're closer in this picture than you are to the puppies. Look at all the pretty grass. It comes up here, right next to the kitten. I wonder what they were looking at. They both seem interested in something. This one has kind of longer hair right here. It's like a like a ruffled collar. <laughs> look at the little ears. Oh my goodness, look at the kitten's ears. They're cute. 
and their little eyes. They do look a little different. I think this one is going to have a little bit longer hair than this one. But you never know. And they have their little noses. Their noses even look different. This kitten's nose has a little bit of like a pinkish color. And this one is just kind of like black. So the noses are a little different. They're probably siblings, though I would I bet they are. Of course, litters of kittens and puppies can look very different from each other. And you have the blades of grass coming up in front of them here. It's nice. It looks like it's a pretty sunny day. You can see the sun shining on the blades of grass back there. You can really see it right there. Mm, that's pretty sunshine. Now when we flip it over, here we have just a little thumbnail. It's just a little picture of the kittens and they're kind of peeking out over that diamond shape. We have two shapes. We have one that's a lighter pink and right behind it is a darker pink so it's like blush and bashful. And here because of this little piece here you can't see covering this kitten, but this one's playing peekaboo just over the little paper. <laughs> That's cute. I am donating these, so I'm just leaving these on here. Look at the little kitten. Oh my goodness. It is very, very cute. And we have just this little section here. This tiny bit of a picture of the kittens. I think this is the perfect picture for our final Trapper Keeper today. It's happy little kitties. Oh my goodness, look how furry and fussy. Look at their little whiskers. They kind of come down like that. So precious. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed getting to see these fun little trapper keepers today. Oh my gosh. These just these just take me right back to being a kid in school. Oh my goodness. This was so much fun. I really hope you enjoyed getting to see all these. It was awesome. And thank you so much for being here. I really hope that you have a wonderful day and I'll see you again soon.